bees are important. About 35% of the world's crops and 80% of the world's flowers are pollinated by bees. Most bees that are farmed for pollination are European honeybees, whose physique and behavior makes them very efficient. But native bees can share in the pollination effort, and some may be more efficient. Recently, honeybees have been dying off at an extraordinarily high rate, and no one is quite sure why. Researchers call it colony collapse disorder, and the problem is serious because of our dependence on honeybees to pollinate food crops. While many are researching the cause of colony collapse disorder, Research into native bees may uncover more productive alternatives to the European honeybee. Finding the cause and potential native alternatives involve tracking wild bee populations and habits. There are many species of bees, more than 500 in Wisconsin alone, but it's not easy to tell which species an individual belongs to. While bee species identification is essential to research, identifying the species of a bee can be expensive and time-consuming. Since there are few experts who can reliably distinguish many different species, bees must be captured and sent to an expert, which may take several months. Bee research can be excruciatingly slow. Imagine an iPhone app that lets graduate students and researchers identify bees in the field. One could simply take a photo of a bee and instantly know its species. Research could be conducted much faster, and identified bees could be released back to nature. This is not a reality yet, but we're setting up the first steps. We call it Google for Bees. This is how we envision it working. Researchers go to our website, or ultimately a mobile app, and provide a photo of a bee wing to match against the species the system has learned. The system applies image processing filters to determine the outline of the wing and veins, and then determines the species by matching the description of the bee wing with those of the learned species. Our test system can identify about 20 different bee species with over 90% accuracy and we're now moving the system to the web. But we need to improve the system. Currently, photos need to be taken with proper lighting using sophisticated lab cameras. To truly be valuable to researchers, the system needs to be able to identify many more species from photos taken with lower quality cameras. We can't make the Google for Bees without collaborating with researchers outside of engineering. We need a lot more B-Wing photos to improve the performance of our image processing and enhance our machine learning algorithms. For example, we estimate that we need 20 to 30 photos of each new species in order to reliably detect that species in the future. With 500 local species, this is a lot of photos. With 20,000 bee species worldwide, it's an immense task. Finally, we need researchers to test the system to make sure that it continues to work reliably.